Occipital Neuralgia, Wikipedia Article Audio Occipital neuralgia is a medical condition characterized by chronic pain in the upper neck, back of the head and behind the eyes. These areas correspond to the locations of the lesser and greater occipital nerves. Wrapped around the greater occipital nerve is the occipital artery, which can contribute to the neuralgia. The condition is also sometimes characterized by diminished sensation in the affected area. Signs and Symptoms Causes Diagnosis Treatment The main symptom of occipital neuralgia is chronic headache. The pain is commonly localized in the back and around or over the top of the head, sometimes up to the eyebrow or behind the eye. Because chronic headaches are a common symptom of numerous conditions, Occipital neuralgia is often misdiagnosed at first, most commonly as tension headaches or migraines, leading to unsuccessful treatment attempts. Another symptom is sensitivity to light, especially when headaches occur. Occipital neuralgia is characterized by severe pain that begins in the upper neck and back of the head. This pain is typically one-sided although it can be on both sides if both occipital nerves have been affected. Additionally, the pain may radiate forward toward the eye as it follows the path of the occipital nerve. Individuals may notice blurred vision as the pain radiates near or behind the eye. The pain is commonly described as sharp, shooting, zapping, an electric shock, or stabbing. The bouts of pain are rarely consistent, but can occur frequently depending on the damage to the nerves. The amount of time the pain lasts typically varies each time the symptom appears, it may last a few seconds or be almost continuous. Occipital neuralgia can last for hours or for several days. Other symptoms of occipital neuralgia may include Occipital neuralgia is caused by damage to the occipital nerves, which can arise from trauma, physical stress on the nerve, repetitive neck contraction, flexion, or extension, or as a result of medical complications. A rare cause is a cerebrospinal fluid leak. Another is radiofrequency nerve ablation. Rarely, Occipital neuralgia may be a symptom of metastasis of certain cancers to the spine. Among other cranial neuropathies, occipital neuralgia is also known to occur in patients with multiple sclerosis. Hodgkin's and other cancer survivors who have had radiation treatment to the neck also can develop this, sometimes many years later. There are several areas that have the potential to cause injury from compression. The diagnosis is established clinically through characteristic anamnestic information and sometimes supporting clinical features. There are a wide range of non-invasive treatments, including manipulation, physical therapy, rest, heat, anti-inflammatory medication, antidepressants, anticonvulsants, opioid and non-opioid analgesics, and migraine prophylaxis medication. Alternatives include local nerve block, peripheral nerve stimulation, steroids, rhizotomy, phenol injections, and occipital cryoneurolysis. Less commonly, surgical neurolysis or microdecompression are used to treat the condition when conservative measures fail. Free R large study, frequent nausea worsens migraine severity. Pain Med News 2011, 9:120. Liang, age occipital neuralgia as a presenting symptom of gastric cancer metastasis. Imaging in Headache Medicine, April 2012. Saladin, Kenneth S. Chapter 13, The Spinal Cord, Spinal Nerves, and Somatic Reflexes. Anatomy and Physiology, The Unity of Form and Function. 
12th ed. New York, New York, McGraw-Hill, 2012. NPAG. Print. Stedman, Thomas Lathrop. Stedman's Medical Dictionary 27th edition illustrated in color. 27th ed. Philadelphia, Lippincott Williams and Wilkins, 2000. 1206 plus. Print. Williamson ETL. The Journal of Headache and Pain 2013. 1p65 http colon slash slash www.thejournalofheadachenpain.com slash content slash 1 slash s1 slash p65 http colon slash slash www.hopkinsmedicine.org slash neurology neurosurgery slash specialty areas slash headache slash conditions slash occipital neuralgia.html Aching, burning, and throbbing pain that typically starts at the base of the head and radiates to the scalp, pain on one or both sides of the head, pain behind the eye, Sensitivity to light, sensitivity to sound, slurred speech, pain when moving the neck, difficulty with balance and coordination, tender scalp, nausea and slash or vomiting.